Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding generate the invoice and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard. Some of you also asked the SQL schema. So this is how the schema looks like. I will copy paste this in the description below so you guys can have a look. Okay, let's jump right in. The question says we are given a table called products with two different columns, product ID and price. Product ID is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table shows the ID of a product and the price of one unit. We are also given a second table called purchases with three different columns, invoice ID, product ID, quantity. The, the combined column invoice ID and product ID is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table shows the quantity ordered from one product in an invoice. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to show the details of the invoice with the highest price. If two or more invoices have the same price, return the details of one with the smallest invoice ID. The order of the result does not matter, right? So let's go through this example, right? So you have two different products and you have different invoices, right? So we need to find out which invoice has the maximum price, right? So basically in that particular invoice, if you sum the entire, you know, quantity multiplied by price, right? Which one has the maximum, right? So if you look at it for invoice ID one, right? So two quantities of product ID one. So 100 times two is 200, right? Similarly for three, uh, quantity one of product ID two, so 200, right? So for invoice ID one and three, right? The price is equal 200 and 200. Similarly, if you look at invoice ID two, right? So three quantities of product ID two. So three times 200 is 600 plus four quantities of product ID one. So hundred times four, right? So 600 plus 400 is thousand. Similarly for four product ID one, 10 quantity, right? So 10 cross hundred, so thousand. So invoice ID two and four has the maximum one. But the question says if two or more invoices have the same price, right? Which is the maximum as well, return the one with the smallest one, right? So out of two and four smallest one is two, right? So we need to return this, right? So product ID, the quantity and multiply it by, you know, the price, right? So that is what you have in the output, right? So since this information is, you know, scattered in two different tables, right? So what we need to do is firstly, we should join these two tables so that you also have the price of this, right? For each of the product, right? And then using that, we can group by the invoice ID to calculate the sum of the total price, right? So quantity multiplied by price and then get the maximum one, right? In case of a tie, you break that tie by taking the lowest invoice ID. So what I'm saying is let's from this table called purchases, right? Chases, let's alias this as PU, right? Let's left to join the table called products aliased as PO, right? On PU dot product ID is equal to PO dot product ID, right? Now, once you join this, right? So which is basically you are going to have two more columns here, product ID and price from this products table. So here it will be having, okay, product ID one, uh, hundred, right? So price is hundred, similarly, 200, 200, et cetera, right? So once you have that, then you can group by the purchases invoice ID column, right? And calculate the sum of quantity multiplied by price. So what we are doing is group by invoice ID column of purchases table, right? So PU dot invoice ID, right? So invoice ID, you group by that. And then what we need to do is let's return the invoice ID, right? So return the invoice ID and also calculate the sum of the product, right? How do you get the total price? You multiplied the quantity with the unit price, right? So the quantity column is in purchases table. So PU dot quantity and then quantity, and then you multiply this by products table, right? So P O dot price, right? So once you have this, then you just basically calculate the sum, right? So if you calculate the sum of this, you are going to get the total price of the particular invoice, right? So let's alias this as total, whatever, like does not matter, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are getting. 
okay so if you look at it you have for different invoices the total ones right now here you don't need everything you need the maximum one and in case of a tie you get the lowest invoice id so how can you get that so after you you know calculate the total of each of the invoice we can order by the total in decreasing manner right and in case there is a tie in the total then you arrange it by invoice id in ascending order right so we write arrange by pu dot invoice id in ascending order right let me run this now okay so now if you look at it you have two four like so two is at top right so we only need to keep this one right so after doing all this you if you just you know limit it to the first value you are going to get the invoice id which has the maximum price as well as the lowest invoice if in case there was a tie right so here what we can write is limit one let me run this okay so now you have the invoice id and the total so what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as and then it, this entire thing goes into parentheses right so once we have this then what do we need to do is we need to from this purchases table right make sure that we are only keeping the invoice ids right so invoice id 2 because that is what we get from this common table expression and for that invoice id you need the product id the quantity but you also need the total price right so you to, uh, product id 2 quantity 3 and the total price is 3 times 200 right so 600 so again you need to join this so basically if you look at it right so this is just doing the same stuff but here you are only keeping those invoices which was the maximum price and lowest invoice in case of a tie so just copy it here right if we copy this here and paste it here because again we are what we are doing is from this purchases table let's left join the products table on product id but this time we are only keeping those rows where the invoice id right so pu dot invoice id is in right is in return the invoice id from the invoice id from the common table expression right so it will only keep these two rows right after you perform a join now you also have the price because we performed a join right so then what we can do is we can simply go ahead and return the product id product id is going to be in the pu table right so purchases table so pu dot product id then you also get pu dot quantity right and you need to get the price as well price is basically quantity multiplied by the units price right so we write pu dot quantity multiplied by po dot price and we need to alias this as price right let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not very difficult all we had to do was you know firstly identify which invoice id we actually need to keep right based on like where the price was maximum and in case there was a tie we had to uh, you know make sure that we took the lowest invoice id and then what we did was we just took that particular invoice id and listed all the products the quantity and the total price of it so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video